Well, I'm gonna go by and snag Kerwood, and we're gonna go on a little adventure, a little rat rod adventure. Hallelujah. Welcome, but, Mr. Kerwood. Well, well, thank you, sir. I, I would make a comment, but with the camera on, I think I'm going to pass. Oh, well, <laughs> oh, I was just going to say we're about to go on an, an, an adventure. adventure. You betcha. A little rat rod adventure. A little rat rod adventure. A little Christmas a little cheer. A Christmas cheer, yes. There you go. All right. Yes. I'll turn the camera off so you can comment. All right. That just sounds like a winner. <laughs> okay, Jim. Yep. We're at the location at the location for the great adventure. Let's go look. All right. Man, there's a travel trailer with sliding glass doors. That's pretty fancy. That's See that? Yeah, that's where Greg's dad used to live. Yeah, well, it's his little house and over here, ain't it? Built in the yeah, I was down there, he's putting trim in that house. There's no Ford. There's a Fode. I see the Fode. Where? The side of the trusses. Oh, he's moved it. It was out no, here. No, huh? It's always been there. God, I thought it was out in the field. Uh -uh. The old Ford was. Well, I thought it was out in the open the last time I looked at it. Well, it don't matter. It's here. Now, that's a tree house, by golly. Yes, it is. <laughs> he did a nice job on that, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He does pretty good work. Look at this. Wow. Those wheels. I know. I'm looking at that cab. Isn't that something? Yeah. Let's see if we can get the door open. You want to open the door? Yeah, we'll look at the dash and everything. What year, Jim? 38. 38 GMC. Oh, nice. Hmm. Well, I would have, I would have affirmed on a stack of Bibles that GMC never made a flathead, and I was wrong. See General Motors? General Motors, yes, sir. Trucks. It says. I never knew they made a flathead. Yes, they did. But it says GMC right on it, or GM right on it. Now, I knew GM made flatheads. I know Pontiac had some flatheads, and of course, the Buick had some straight eight flatheads. And Pontiac, too, I think. I'm not up on that, but. I was just really surprised to see a flathead in this old truck. Uh, I cut my teeth on old trucks like old Fred, 49, 50 Chevy, and at that time, GMC pickups and GM and Chevy pickups, they, they both ran the same engine, as far as I know, but uh, I was kind of surprised to see, well, I was more than a little surprised <laughs> to see uh, that flathead in this truck. My old 32 Chevy Rat Rod has an overhead valve engine and uh, they did that I know back even in 1929 that was the first six cylinder but that's okay it's cool hmm interesting well, she's a big old boy did you hear what I said she's a big old boy this must be one of those transgender trucks 1946, it says on the license plate. Last time she was driven. Well, I don't know. I don't know what it says on the back plate or if it has one. Look at that grill. Hmm. Pretty nice. Look at the headlights. Yeah. You got the side. Look at the rust. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's a door to see that. Look at the rust. <laughs> I love those wheels. This is, this is what you call heavy patina. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like somebody's trying to break well, the inner into well, it. Well, they, they kind of part part of the exhaust is missing here. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a little loud when it runs. Yeah. Huh. Well, it is a. I wonder if the radio flyer comes with it. <laughs> I don't know. It's a garage. It's a parking garage for lawnmowers. I see. Yes. We've got a couple well, back here. Yeah, got a couple of them there. Yeah. And it's loaded. Yeah. Well, might be springtime before we get this out of here. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Huh. Well, there's 
slide in there. Yeah. Boy, that'd be nice for pellets. Yeah, it would. Slide them pellets down yeah. your basement and bags. Yeah, yeah, that'd work great. Of course, what you got works pretty good. Well, huh. Thinking about that cab. There is no rear license plate. Is there a title? I don't know. Well, it's a GMC. Yeah. Mind if I cut in to tell you about myself? I am a car radio, and rather unusual one, if I do say so. You see, I'm a transportable car radio, and I reside in a new 1958 Oldsmobile. Pretty luxurious surroundings, eh? Yes, I operate equally well in the car or out. Feels good to get out once in a while. Hey, you're not paying attention. If you want to let your eye move to a thing of beauty, just take in my house in that new Oldsmobile Super 88. Come on up and get a close look. I'll give you appropriate music. What a car to drive with new rocket engine power and pneumatic ride. Say, before we go, how about a date for a rocket ride? Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at your dealers in a new 58 Oldsmobile. <laughs> Nineteen thirty-eight GMC two ton. Would have been a two ton. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And it has a safari windshield. Cranks out. Jim's trying to open the other door. Yeah, don't want to open. I love the back glass, the back window. Yeah, isn't that neat? Yeah, that's cool looking. And I like the grill. Yeah. Huh. Never seen a grill like that. Here's your cop num 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 Yes, sir. Look at that big ram horn. Yeah. Interesting. That's a interesting engine. Yeah. See, I think that's what came out in the old Pontiacs and stuff. Well, I know Pontiacs had flatheads, yeah. yeah. So probably they the same general motors. Probably. Same motor, I bet, isn't it? Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't be a bit surprised. In yeah. fact, that 38 that Greg's got in his shop, that car, I'll bet that's the same motor. Yeah, I would have just never expected it to have a flathead. Yeah. When you popped the oh. hood on that the first time I saw it, I that couldn't believe it. Me. I, uh, I thought it would be like a motor like my 32, yeah. or up to C37 is when they came out with the, with the uh, 216. 216. So prior to that, it would have had a motor like my little yeah. rockabilly rat. One, 194. 194, well, then they punched it out. They made a 207. Yeah. They punched it out and did a few things before the 216. Yeah. See, by 1932, it had a balanced crank, which is what mine is, and it had, they got it up to 50 horsepower. Here's your GM emblem. Mm, GMC? Yeah. Yeah. Way cool. And these old Fords are everywhere around here. Around these old orchards. They used them for fruit haulers. Well, that's what this one is too, that GMC. Hey Jim, what's that over there in the brush? Uh, that's an old, uh, I think that's an old Chevrolet. Looks like it. Looks like a Fred. Yeah. Looks like a Fred Mobile. I'll be there in a minute. I'm gonna grab my phone. Well, stay tuned, because you'll be seeing more of this old truck in the future videos. Howdy folks, your old pal Waylon Wire here. Uh, I need to address an issue this evening because if I don't, I'm gonna start getting emails and comments and inquiries. <laughs> so I might as well just go ahead and, and get it over with. Um, you know, I started doing these videos about 10, a little over 10 years ago. And uh, I guess old Sparky was in, in the videos probably from pretty much the beginning. And uh, He'd some he'd usually make an appearance if he heard me talking to the camera He thought I was talking to him so he'd talk back, you know and sometimes uh, you'd hear him off camera or uh, You'd just see one there were a couple videos where you just see his tail go across the bottom of the screen just to tip his tail But he made an appearance so uh, Sparky developed quite a Quite a following and uh, and quite a fan base and if he wasn't in a video for a few days or couple weeks why people start asking so that's why I'm making this video uh, out here where I live out in the country we have a lot of coyotes and 
oh, there's cougars, and uh, you know where this is going. But anyway, uh, when I moved here, I got a call from the neighbor. Said, hey, there's a cougar's been spotted. If you got children or small animals, need to get them in. And Sparky was fixed at the at the uh, at the factory. <laughs> he was fixed when he left the pound. So he didn't prowl, you know, he'd go out back and hunt mice out around the cars and down at the old house and hunt mice, but he never, he never prowled. So uh, the coyotes have come in and got closer and there's not really much you can do about it. So he didn't come home Friday night and I can only assume that the coyotes uh, got the better of him. But uh, anyway, I, you know, I'm a baby boomer and I'm supposed to be all he-man and macho and don't talk about feelings and stuff like that. You know, but my heart aches when I think about that little guy getting tore up by a coyote. That's a, that's a pretty bitter pill. Anyway, I knew you'd want to know, so now you do. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you.